but I'm just going to start into the reading. For Empress, this is such a positive card. This means feeling abundant, feeling prosperous, feeling like everything that you touch grows. She's, she's completely satisfied. She's got everything she wants and needs and everything grows around her. It's a very fertile card and it's a card of creativity. It's a card of giving birth to new things. So Empress is, I think of Empress when I, when I think of her, I think of her as someone who's like sipping lemonade by a poolside. She's just completely satisfied. She's completely um, receptive. She's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful card. So the fact that this is your central focus for July, Scorpio says great things are afoot. There is the fact that she's in reverse just says you may have some difficulty in accepting that this is what's going on. There may be some fear, doubt, or resistance to identifying with Empress energy. So what are you, she's kind of like knocking on your door, Scorpio. So what do you need to do to let her in? Or what do you need to do to feel satisfied, to feel abundant, to feel prosperous, to feel like you're the Empress? Now, whether you're male or female, this can apply to you either way. Like, how do, you, how do you see results? How do you give birth to something in your world? How do you create something? How do you let, let life flow? Because Empress is really in the flow. She's really in the zone. She's really allowing life to happen around her and is reaping all the benefits from everything that's happening. So it's kind of like great things are happening, Scorpio, for you for July, but you just have to make some sort of adjustment. You have to remove some sort of film of either fear, doubt, or resistance. What's your fear about being Empress? What's your doubt? What is your resistance to being Empress? Because she's there. She's waiting for you. She's knocking on the door. What do you need to do to let her in? Um, and then in hanging out in the shadow position, what's below our consciousness is two of cups. This is an exchange of hearts. This is relationship energy. So are you thinking about a relationship, not, not on a conscious level, but on a subconscious level? Is it sort of hanging out below your normal day-to-day -day tasks and everything you're thinking about and doing? Is it kind of hanging out there? Um, wondering about your relationship, either questions about a relationship that you're in or um, looking for someone to be partnered with because it's showing up. Usually what's in the shadow position is something that is in our consciousness but not available to us on a conscious level. So it's something that's unseen. It's kind of like hanging out in the dark or around the corner. So relationship might be on your mind, Scorpio. Um, what's passing away is the need to fight for everything. This is seven of wands in the reverse position. Usually this card, I call it success despite adversity. And it means like standing up for yourself, um, being assertive, being, being willing to stand up for what you believe in, standing up and defending a cause. The, your need to like defend everything and stand up for yourself and kind of like fight people off, that's going to be passing away. This is struggle. This is ease. So whatever it is, you're kind of getting into, you're letting go of struggle of some sort. And you're, you're kind of sitting back into ease. If you look at him, he's standing and fighting off people. She's like sitting in a chair enjoying, enjoying a nice cool drink. Um, so it's a completely different energy. And this is what's passing away. And this is where you are now. You just need to do something to remove whatever doubt, fear, or resistance you're having towards being empress or letting her in. And it may have something to do with this Queen of Coins energy. Now, generally, Queen of Coins is an Earth sign. Um, so generally, she is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It could also be someone who has a Queen of Coins birth date. And if you want to look up what those are, they're on my website. Um, anyone who has Queen of Diamonds, their birthdays are, are Queen, of, you know, uh, Queen of Coins, Queen of Diamonds is the same. And in this particular case, this person is not, this person may be in competition with you. And it, it's not even a competition because Empress versus Queen of Coins 
it's not even a question. The Empress is the she's the major arcana card. She's the one in charge. So you're in charge, Scorpio. She is almost like trying to question you for your crown or be in some ways in conflict with you. But there's just no question. I mean, the only way that this works with her in reverse and you in reverse is if she's coming to you for help or coming to you with questions. Now, this could be anyone, really, who has the Queen of Coins archetype. It could be a sister, a mother, another family member, an aunt, a boss, um, a, any, any person, really, who normally is in charge of the money. She might be coming to you for advice, but there can't be any competition. There is no competition between these two because Empress is the major arcana. Empress is in charge of the whole region. The queen is just in charge of one kingdom. The Empress is in, in charge of an empire. So don't let any queen of coins kind of person who's coming in the future challenge you for your status. It may be over an earth sign man because this is Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Um, and generally knights are pretty romantic, clever, playful. They have that trickster energy. They have that youthful energy, but they're, they're not often that trustworthy. So this could be like a mother son thing that's going on here. The queen of coins is, can be the mother of the knight of coins, or it could be someone who's trying to come in between you and, um, an earth sign man there's a couple different ways usually the rank here is empress the queen works for the empress the knight works for the queen so there's some sort of triangle going on um but what i'm seeing is that the two women here are the ones that are upside down the the knight is kind of he's highlighted he may be the focus of the situation but he's not engaging in this it's really between these two so what i'm going to say the one thing that these two share is a connection with nature and being grounded so if you have something to work out with an earth sign person queen of coins um or anything regarding money or or anything tangible physical assets possessions any of that Go into a natural setting to talk it out. That's going to really help. And that will help keep you elevated in your position of empress as well. It'll be good for both of you. Um, so just know that there may be some challenges regarding a earth sign person or someone with a queen of coins archetype. And it may be over a, a knight of coins guy, even though he's not really engaged in the, in the situation. He's kind of trying to look away from it, actually. Um, yeah, and that, that could be related to what this relationship stuff is going on here, too. In week one, you know, again, if this, if this relationship stuff is draining you, Scorpio, let it go. I mean, this is, in the upright position, it's joy, peace, and happiness, and that's available to you in week one. But I really get the sense that you need to address whatever's going on with you being empress in order to correct this. Once you correct what's going on with you, then you correct what's going on within the relationship, within the family, the emotional um, status, the emotional state of what things are, you know, of things that are happening. This can be, look at how abundant this is. The, the reward at the end of the rainbow, peace, joy, love, family, empress, has everything she wants or needs, is catered to, is, satisfied is you know everything is here it's just that it's it's a little bit out of reach because you're upside down you're not acknowledging that you are empress or letting her in or wearing that hat you're not wearing her crown for whatever reason even though you are her for july so once you deal with this then this can be corrected too um Week two, you have Page of Wands in reverse, which is enthusiasm. It is wanting to get in the game. It is um, feeling optimistic about things. It's sort of like, I think this came up for Virgo as well, actually in this position, interestingly, where it's sort of like someone who's on the outside lines of a sports event where they're like, come on, coach, just put me in. 
I, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm willing. I, I'm here, even though I'm the new player. I'm a freshman. You know, I'm a rookie player. I'm here and I'm ready to go. In the reverse position, it's like being on the sidelines, being afraid to go in. Like you've been practicing, but you're like, I don't know if I'm ready. I, I have the willingness. I have the enthusiasm. I have the optimism. But gosh, I'm just fearful or doubtful or resistance or, you know, this is sort of like nervous energy. Um, again, once you deal with this, Scorpio, these can correct. And uh, week three is going to be a little bit of concentration on your finances. This is like hold, feeling like you need to hold on to everything that you have, holding on, pinching penny, uh, pinching pennies, pinching pennies. Um, it can kind of mean that you're not in a place where you're allowing your heart to be open because you're too preoccupied with money. You can see this, this coin is blocking the heart of this person. Um, so be careful in week three that you're not so preoccupied with money that it takes up everything that it's on your mind that it's on your heart that it's on your lap that you know money just dominates the whole scene um with this card i always use the image of when you have a closed fist you can't hold on to anything if you open your hand and be more like flexible with things you can hold something in your hand if i tried to close my hand with that card in it it would crumple the card or if there was a stick of butter all of it would go squirming out so relax your grip relax your fist in week three, especially when it comes to money issues, Scorpio. And then last week of July, we have six of swords in the reverse position. This means that in general, six of swords is recovery. It means healing. It means helping yourself out of a difficult position, or it means receiving help um, or giving help to someone else. It usually goes from turbulent waters to smoother seas like a smoother horizon but in the reverse position you may have doubts that you can recover from something after following this four of coins it may mean to me that you feel like you can't get out of debt or that you can't recover from a financial um you have financial fears and you're feeling like oh i can never make it to that next shore where where the grass is green and where things are good. Like, I feel like I just can't recover. I can't um, heal from this. So I'm going to say get help. And you may have a resistance or a fear or a doubt about getting help, receiving help. This picture depicts someone receiving help and going to smoother shores. So get help to go somewhere where instead of rough waters, Scorpio, where it's smoother seas. Receive that help. And, you know, there's, there's abundance and prosperity waiting for you, just sitting sort of in your garden. When, go, go take that seat, Scorpio. Wear that crown. That's here for you in July.